Hello, welcome back to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, where we're happy to be here again for another day out at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, one of our favourite places here. So there's going to be loads of stuff going on today. Uh, there's a few more additions since last time we came. Of course, Enzo is now open, that's the big one. Um, we'll see what's going on with the Grand National, see if that's open, and uh, see what's going on with Valhalla as well, because that's something that we're really, really excited to uh, get back on as soon as that opens. But as far as everybody else goes, Robin, what are you excited to get on today? I was in Wonderland because I didn't get to go on it last time. Yeah, I might have hogged that last time. Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, we'll get you can get we'll get you on that one later on today. And Casper, what about you? What do you want to go River on? The caves. The river caves. As we're coming past it now, actually. So uh, yeah, um, we'll get on that today because you can't go to Blackpool without going on the river caves. So uh, yeah, we'll have a good day. Stay with us and see where, where what's happening in Blackpool Pleasure Beach. First ride of the day of Avalanche, and it seems we've claimed their first victory. The weather's claimed its first victory in there. Uh, it's actually closed due to the weather, so we'll have to try it back after on. Hopefully, we'll be a bit more successful later on. But we're going to head over to Nickelodeon Land now and hopefully uh, get on the Nick Streak. So, we're going to go on uh, Nick Streak, but we've got diverted. So, we're here over at Walton Gromit's Thrillomatic. So, what do you think about that? Good. So, we're going to have some fun on Walton Gromit's uh, Thrillomatic. One question, though, Casper. Have you got the right trousers on? Yes. I'll soon find out. Hope there's no wear rabbits in here. Thumbs up. So we just tried going on Walton Gromit's Thrillomatic there. So we got to the front, waited about 25 minutes, and what happened, Casper? Um, we couldn't go on it, it was closed. It broke down, didn't it? So that's the second ride of the day. So what time is it now? It's got to quarter past 11. So it's been open nearly an hour and every ride has been broken down and tried to go on, hasn't it? Yeah. So we'll keep trying. We'll, we'll try and go on these cars down here now. So we've not been on these for quite a while. So if these are open, the we'll try around these. Um, and then uh, we'll try and go to Nick Street. What do you reckon? Let's go. So we've not had a good start for the morning today. So we've just joined the queue line for Nickelodeon Street. So hopefully that's about a 15 minute queue line. Uh, just measure Casper on the outside, so he looks like he is tall enough to go on it. So uh, hopefully we'll have a good run through on this, Casper. What do you think about Nick Street? Uh, um, uh, I might not like it. He might not like it. There's a few little drops on it, isn't there? Right. Um, yeah. Uh, see what our reactions are when we come off. Right, so we've just come off Nick Streak, and that was Casper's first time on there. So after numerous false starts, we finally got you on it. And uh, what do you think about Nick Streak? I don't like it. I don't want to go on it again today. You don't want to go on it again? Why not? Because uh, I don't like it. So what happens when you go on that then? Um, Tell everyone. It made my eyes water. It made your eyes water. And was it fast? Yeah. But it wasn't that bad though, was it? No, but we were at the front. Well, now Casper, you're tall enough to go on that. Do you know what the next thing is that you're tall enough to go on? <laughs> Steeplechase. So that'll be the next one to get you on the horses. So where are we going next then? Um, to the blue flyer. Right, so let's have a little more relaxing ride on the blue flyer then. See you there. Okay, so I've just booked uh, my Icon Enzo pass now. So I've got approximately a 30 minute wait now to, uh, before I can go and uh, make my way over to Enzo to uh, find out what it's actually like on there. I've heard so many different uh, reviews and reports about what it's like if there's two people on there, if there's one person on there. And I just can't wait to be able to get on there and uh, check it all out. and. Uh, get it all recorded on here. So uh, yeah, 28 minutes to go and we'll find out. So we're having no luck with ride availability today. Uh, we've booked Enzo. I've got uh, 15 minutes left back up uh, the before my time to go up to it, and Enzo is broken down. It's been told by the, uh, the operators it's likely to be a couple of hours before uh, it's Enzo opens up again, uh, if it does indeed at all open today. So, fingers crossed, hope it's, hopefully it does open, and we do get to go on it, but uh, until then, we're gonna have to go and check out something else, see if there's something else that's opened up now. Dad. So there's some good news today on ride availability, because for the first time in a long time. These cars are working. What's working? Those cars, yeah, I've not seen those cars operating quite a long time, so quite excited to be able to get on them. So at least that's one thing we'll be able to get on today. It's a good job we've got a season pass. Um, if you'd have come for a day, you might be a little bit annoyed. But 
Well, let's head over. We're going to try Wallace and Gromit again because uh, when we came off it last time, we was evacuated from the queue line. They did offer us a, a fast pass uh, uh, access to get back onto it. So we'll give it another whirl now because it says it's open. So uh, let's see. Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic. So we've just been on Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic. Well, we sat in the chair and guess what? It broke down. So uh, we've still not been on Wallace and Gromit's just yet. So. Um, We'll try again later on. Hopefully we'll get on a ride at some point today. Uh, there's just uh, ride availability is absolutely abysmal today. So uh, um, we'll keep trying and we'll see if we can get on something. One of the good things at Blackpool Pleasure Beach is all of the uh, exclusive Walton Gromit uh, stuff that they do actually have here. It's really, really good. Um, like garden and stuff with a nodding from it there. It's really cute. All t-shirts. I don't know if you can actually get these anywhere else. Really unique to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. What have you got there, Robin? Wrong trousers, oh, Christmas it? tree decorations. Oh, that's really cute. So how much is that? Uh, uh, seven ninety five. So seven ninety five for one of those. Oh, oh, you've got your arms full, Lekas. What are you looking at? Um, Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit. All oh, right. And what are they? Like little, like sun things. Sun things. All oh, right. Okay. So does he dance? When they're in the sun, they dance. All oh, right. Okay. Well, let's have a look at all the other things. So they've got these cuddly sheep here. So they're. 20 pounds there, but they are unique to here. I don't think there's anywhere else you'd be able to get these. And they do a home delivery service as well, which is a nice touch. One thing I do like is uh, the desk tidy. It's the wrong trousers there. Oh, it's the wrong trousers, Gromit! Really, really good. There's one of the grommets that Casper picked up last time. These are priced at £14.95 then. You do get a discount with your annual pass as well. There's Preston. And there's McGraw, also £14.95. So, we are on the Grand Prix Racing and Casper's. Taking the lead, he's got us in a red car here. Here we go. I'll spin the camera around now so you can see where we're going. From this, you really get a good view of all the, uh, the coaches that they've got here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. You can see icons just going around there. Put your foot down there, dude. No, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. It's all right, you couldn't reach. Just keep steering. Nice water fountain, little water feature there. Fountain package, as they say.
Stoke people just come off the Grand Prix races there, which is a ride that I've not been on for quite a few years because it never seems to be open at a time that we ever come to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But today it's open and Cass, what did you think? I'm happy that I opened and I liked it. I drove. Yeah, you drove. It was really, really good. In fact, it's one of my favourite of those rides, uh, uh, those driving car rides. I think they're absolutely brilliant. So it was nice to be able to uh, get on them and experience them. So, uh, yeah, the weather's uh, brightened up. Hopefully the ride availability will improve now and we can be able to crack on with some more rides to the vlog. So as you say that now, Icon has just opened up. So hopefully I'll be able to go down with my Enzo Speedy Pass and get myself on that. So excited. It's got a new ride, Butterflies, again. So I can fall in love with Icon all over again. Uh, so excited to be able to experience this um, in a completely unique and different way. So uh, find out what it's like on uh, Enzo um, as we dare to ride. Um, so excited to be able to find out what it's like to uh, ride this incredible ride. And it's, it's, it's great. I'm actually a little bit nervous to go on it now because uh, I've not been on a new coaster for what seems like so long. So uh, let's see what it's like as we ride Enzo and we dare to rotate. Well, I've just come off and completed Enzo and wow, oh my word. <laughs> Words cannot describe what that ride actually did. It is absolutely insane. Granted, it is not the Mac Extreme Spinner that you might get from uh, Rides Happiness, but it felt like it for me. I was spinning all over the place. Uh, the reviews that I've seen of uh, um, Enzo, people are pretty much turning. I was actually spinning on the launch going up. It was incredible. I got so many uh, rotations going around there. I had absolutely no clue where I was at any point. Completely out of my seat, pretty much the entire ride. Really enjoyed it. Such a, such a good experience. Would I go on it again? Hell yes, I would absolutely go on it again. It was absolutely fantastic, unique way to experience Icon. Would I pay 15 pounds? Perhaps not. It's not, it's not. <laughs> Paying 15 pounds is a, is a lobster. I'm still uh, shaking, I'm that, uh, uh, got that much adrenaline going through. It's absolutely amazing. It's a way to fall in love with Icon all over again. Absolutely fantastic. I absolutely loved every minute of that ride. And it's, I was going backwards as you go up the junior in Immelman as well, which was just absolutely insane. Um, such a, such a great experience. Absolutely loved it. And uh, I would definitely, definitely ride that again. But 15 pounds, it's quite steep. Bring it down, maybe eight pounds. I'll be all over that. Um, but to pay 15 pounds every single time on top of your uh, season pass, it's quite a lot of money. But yeah, Enzo, wow, what a ride. today so what we've decided to do is we've gone for uh, we've each gone for the kids meals that you can get here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and it's priced at five pounds and um, the ones we've gone for is the ones where you get chicken strips so you get three chicken strips a portion of fries which is a healthy portion of fries as well which you can see in there um, and indeed a drink as well no that's five pounds and you do get a discount with your annual pass as well so Oh, you get your chips and sauce. So how's yours, Casper? Good. It's good. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? And um, how's yours, are you doing? You're good. Yeah. So yeah, it's um, it's quite a good value here. So you do get a discount. So um, we'll get this eaten up and uh, we'll head somewhere else. So just come off the Grand National. We're here to wait for about 10 to 15 minutes. They're only running on one train today, so uh, it's a little bit slower ops than normal, but. Still not a massive queue considering it's a Saturday and the Easter holidays. Um, so not bad, not too bad at all. And I have to say, whatever they've done there, I just had a back row ride and it's running really, really well. No soreness in the back, no stiffness. There's no jarring motions as you go down. It's a really, really, really good ride around there. Really enjoyed it because it's a good coaster, the Grand National, and it's much needed TLC that it needed from it having that uh, parts of the retrack work done. So uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. So I'm heading around to Alice now. So. Uh, We'll see you on there. So Casper and Robin have just done the double header of Alice in Wonderland and the Derby Racers. So, Robin, you're finally done Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. 
How was it? It's amazing. As always, and it smelled lovely, didn't it, Cass? Yeah. Those smell pods are amazing, aren't they? So what did you think about it, Cass? Liked it, and nothing new was in it though, but I liked it. Nothing new, but smell pods were good. Yeah. And what do you think about the derby racer? Liked it, and it went good. super fast, I loved it though. Super fast, and you loved it. Robin, derby racer? Yeah, it was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it was brill. That's all you need to know. So uh, they're waiting around to the ghost train now. I think there's a 25 minute wait. So uh, let's head around there and see how busy it is. It's really great. There's all different parts uh, of stuff that's actually on this ride from other rides. See those masks that twist over there? They used to be actually on uh, the greatest show on earth that was actually recorded. Uh, so that's a different one. It's a lot of people this is the first one that's caught all these ghost trains that's the important one. Next one is the Lord Pods. It's me and Big Laddie, I've just come off. Ghost train. How would you find it? Liked it. You liked it? Is it scary? No. It's not scary, is it? No. What's the best thing about it? Um, I don't know. You don't know? What's your favourite bit? What do you like? Um, Where it drops down, yeah. that's a really good yeah. bit though, isn't it? Uh, Do you know, that, that was added on later on, that wasn't there at first. No. And it, it's good, isn't it? That's what makes it good, this ride. Yeah. So, this is my favourite part of the park, this really, because it's the one part that's all themed, isn't it? Yeah. And it all looks really good. But one of the things that's themed, I didn't even notice, I saw Robbie take a picture of it while he was on it, is this tree behind you, Casper. Have you seen that? <laughs> all those creepy faces that are on it. Oh. That's really cool. Yeah, so it's good to have a go on there. See if we can win um, a Ghostbusters Teddy now. We'll have a go at that, and then we're going to see, have another go. <laughs> try and win Slimer. And then, Casper, do you reckon we have another try to see if we can get on Wallace and Gromit? Do you think we have a go at that? Yeah. Right, okay. Wish us luck, see if we can get on it. Also, um, it just occurred to me, last vlog we made here, uh, when we came off the ghost train, I believe I might have quoted three by three by three by three. I've always thought for years, that's actually what it says on the ghost train. Turns out, Robin, what's it say? Scream and scream and scream. Oh dear, it's a good job nobody watches these vlogs. Never mind, moving on. Right, so the third time of asking, third attempt to try and get on, Walsing Gromit, Thrillomatic, and what happened? We could get on it now. We were able to get on it, and right old lad, what did you think of it? Good. So you didn't end up with the wrong trousers? No. Oh, it was a good ride, wasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, uh, what, what do you think about that then? What good. happens? I liked it. You liked it, and what do you think about Feather McGraw? Liked it. You liked it, right? Uh, you're full of liked it, so uh, let's go and like something else then, shall we? Yeah. Right. What's the adventure continues. Oh, what have you got to say? Bye. 
<laughs> Bye. Four seats, haven't they? No one's going in Enzo. Trouble maker. It's telling everyone that we're uh, coming around. Oh, it's there, look. So, Fusion's running on two trains, look, there it is. Going up there. There's the wall of water. Log flame. It's just like a log flame, isn't it? Big dipper. Oh, he's such a big dipper. Rhinoceros? Yeah. What's that one there then? A cheetah. There's another skeleton there, he's on his own because he's got no body to go with. Zebra. A zebra. 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 Zebra.
The Pleasure Beach Express, um, straight onto that. Such a lovely run round on that, when you're seeing all the rides going round, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's nice to be able to see them all uh, in operation, running around simultaneously. So, Robin, what do you think about um, the Pleasure Beach Express? Apart from it, not sitting still, snorting. <laughs> <laughs> well, even even got to have a ride there, which is nice. It's nice to be able to take her on something, really. So that was good. So uh, it's, it's really nice to be able to get on there and just escape from everything for sort of 10 or 15 minutes as you go around and just see all the rides going around. I think it's absolutely incredible. It's lucky to have it here, really, and it's great. It's a shame the monorail's not operating anymore, but uh, we can make do with the Pleasure Beach Express. So uh, we're just gonna head back to uh, Nickland. So we've now just entered uh, Dora's World Voyage Ride Casper, haven't we? So what do you think about this? Good. I like it. I've been on this before, but I still like it. You still like it? I've not been on this for quite a while, actually. Um, to say hello probably, hands, probably. Say but yeah, so let's see how uh, Dora's World Voyage is and where we end up. Incredibly catchy music, isn't it? Park, a park, a park, a park, a park. It would really venture if you didn't have children here, is it, Casper? It's only for children here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You think this sounds like Gangnam Style? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You're a crazy kid. Oh, 
Oh shit, it's not there's those Russian dolls, Casper. Trouble is, Russian dolls are full of themselves, aren't they? Dora! Oh, yeah. she's in yeah. there, Dora! She is. She's got a lion with her. Da -da 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 Oh, it's up there, isn't it? There's the moon. So come off uh, Dora's world voyage there. It's a cute little kids ride. It's not somewhere you'd, you'd go on if you don't have kids. Um, because Dora's not the really sort of thing that interests uh, most people unless you're a kid, but um, it's a cute little ride. It's a, it's a nice little uh, way to take your feet off, uh, put your feet up and uh, just kick back as you go around on a nice little general water uh, boat tour. And then of course she's been on Blue Fly, which again, it's another really cute little kiddie coaster. It's great, it's great to be able to have a little uh, kiddie wooden coaster um, that's not too intense for uh, kids from the age of one. It's brilliant. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the only thing that's weird about that is they have a really weird uh, like meshing through the tunnel, which just looks a bit odd. Looks like I should do something with it, really. But, yeah, it's a good little ride, so I'm um, not sure where we're going now, so stick with us. To the, uh, the end of the day now, we've uh, since we last spoke to you, Robin's done Icon, we've done Big Dipper, and now Robin's uh, Robin Casper uh, wanted to come on the river cage for a nice, uh, gentle ride before the end of the day. And what happened on it? Well, we all got wet, we got absolutely soaked. What's that about? We're on the river caves, and we got absolutely dreadful. Big, a big bow wave just came over the front of the boat and soaked us both, didn't it? Yeah, <laughs> so, so now. Good job at the end of the day because we need to go and dry off. So, uh, yeah, absolutely soaked. Good stuff. So, that pretty much just about wraps up our day here at uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Didn't start particularly well uh, with the operations and ride availability and rides breaking down and numerous attempts to try and go on things, but we were unsuccessful. But it got better. Um, and it really, really wasn't very busy at all today. I think it's a, it was a Saturday. Uh, in the school holidays and the longest queue was 35 minutes which is the big one which is not not bad at all really uh, given the circumstances so uh, yeah so what does everybody uh, think of the day today it was brilliant i'm just sorry i was just really distracted by <laughs> nearly getting run over by a tram there. <laughs> um, well, like coronation street then <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah it was, it was really good I had a really nice day actually today got loads of stuff didn't we cast yeah. So, Casper, what's your favourite thing of the day? I don't know. You don't know? You've been on so many things. Well, what about Nickelodeon Streak? No. No? Uh, oh. No, that's good River thing. Caves? No. You've been at Wallace oh. and Gromit twice. Wallace and Gromit? Yeah. I'm really yeah. So, he, he loves Wallace and Gromit. And we managed to get on that. It took three goes to get on there, but we got there, on, we got there in the end. Uh, and we managed to get on it and we had a good time on it. Uh, and get a little bit of on-ride footage for it as well, which is nice. So, Robin, what's your favourite thing? Uh, well, I got to go on Alice in Wonderland, finally. Woohoo! Uh, it was, it was lovely. <laughs> so, and also you got to have your ride on Icon as well, which is good. Oh, I did, yeah, that, that, that ten-year-old boy made my day that I was riding with. It was very cute. <laughs> so there's a little ten-year-old boy who was uh, ended up being put on the train next to Robin and uh, uh, was a fearless little thrill seeker. He had his hands up the entire time, wasn't he? Yeah, and it was like so. eight time of the day. <laughs> so brilliant. So that's what you got to look forward to, Casper. Uh, <laughs> so uh, and my highlight, well, there's two really, because uh, Enzo is absolutely insane, um, absolutely incredible ride, and I seem to spin around far more than what uh, um, 
I was expecting to, to spin round. Uh, granted, it's not like a, a Mac Extreme spinner like uh, Ride Happiness, but uh, I seem to be spinning a hell of a lot. And when you go up the junior in a moment, it was I had massive shades of uh, X2 uh, when you got the Batwing. But um, yeah, it was really, really enjoyable. It's 15 pounds or so. I, I won't be in a hurry to pay 15 pounds again. However, it was a great, unique experience. Really, really good. And then also, Grand National, the fact that Grand National's reopened and it was operating, it was it was riding really well with no injuries, so that's always a bonus. So uh, yeah, really good time. So thank you for watching and